I'm here. Good deal. How you doing this evening? I'm great. How are you doing, Justin? I'm doing pretty good. I'm sitting up here playing country records and uh, doing doing what I like to do. So it's it's well, a good hey. it's a good day. Yes, don't get no better than that. Right, right, exactly. Well, I tell you what, for uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Jade, I wish I had something up here to play by you. I don't have any anything here to play, but I want to kind of give people some background. Uh, this young lady sings and plays the fiddle, and, and I've had the pleasure of working with her a few times now, and the last three times in the last two weekends. And uh, yeah. and we have just had a blast, and and I can't compliment you enough on on a great job singing and playing, and uh, and we you got to do uh, besides besides uh, us freezing in injunction, uh, we played a couple of weeks ago. We played a wedding in Junction, Texas, and I swear it was forty four degrees outside, and yes. uh, and and we had a lot of fun, but it was cold. But uh, yeah. but the, but the following night, uh, you you got to do something that uh, I think was a first for you, and that was uh, play behind the great Johnny Bush. Am I correct in that? Yes, you're correct. Yeah. And that, that was just the biggest thrill, you know. I'm, I'm totally a country music nerd. I'm just a huge fan of all the traditional things, and I've looked up to Johnny for a really long time, so, uh, and admired his songs and songwriting and the fiddle work on his albums, you know, especially being a fiddle player, I'm extremely fond of that. Exactly. So, but just look at, look at him for a really long time. That was something really special I was able to do. Well, you, you did a fantastic job, and it was, I mean, it was put on you at the last minute, basically, I think it was, <laughs> was, was it Lossberg that just said, stay up here, you're playing for John? It was, yeah. He said, "Don't get down." Uh, you know Bush's material, right? And I thought, God, yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll, I, I'll figure it out real quick." That's well, for sure. I tell you <laughs> what, you're definitely a student of this music, and I admire that. And you came through with flying colors that night. You really did. Oh, okay. And uh, and then this this past weekend, we had a big thing in Brady with uh, you and me and and Curtis Potter and Tony Booth. And yeah. uh, and that was a lot of fun. And, and I know, now you work with Tony extensively, right? I do, I do. I started working with him about a year ago. Uh-huh. And uh, just that's just been a thrill, you know, him oh, yeah. and his manager, Lynn Brown. They're just some of the best people you're ever going to meet. They you are. Know? And so they really take care of me. It's like being, a, being with some grandpas all right. the time. Right, exactly. <laughs> so they're looking out for me. Absolutely, so. and, and that's great. And, and yes. you've got... You know, you've you've got some great mentors in this business, and, and you've had a lot of great teachers down through the down through the years, haven't you? I have, I have been very blessed, very blessed. But just whoever will let me. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, I tell you what, it's it's not a matter of letting you. We're we're proud to have you on stage with us, and uh, oh. every every chance we get. How much time do you have this evening? Just however much you want. All right. Well, let's let's <laughs> let's play some music and we'll and we'll visit yeah. bet- between records and that kind of thing. Is that okay? That's perfect. All right. Well, stay with me. Let's play a Johnny Bush record right now. This Sounds is good. this is uh, he didn't get around this. We were gonna do this last Sunday. I, I should mention too. Thank you to everybody that came out to the Janet Lynn benefit at the Cotton Club last Sunday. We had a great time and and uh, raised a lot of good money for Janet and. I know Janet was very touched by by the whole the, the whole thing, the support and the love that was shown for her that evening, and um, and so uh, we want to thank all the all the musicians and and singers, but also all of the fans that came out to be a part of that. This yeah. this particular song was on the set list, and somehow or another we we skipped it, and we didn't mean to skip it. But it's one of my favorite Johnny Bush songs. You remember a song called "Lord Let a Lie Come True"? Oh yes, that's a good one. Here's Johnny Bush. Oh, there's Johnny Bush tonight in one of his RCA recordings, Lord Let a Lie Come True. Well, Jade, I've got to ask you the the question, I guess, you know, I almost hate to put you on the spot, but this was asked of me many times when I was getting started in this business. How does a young lady... And and am I right? I, I told your age, and I hope you didn't mind the other night when we were picking. <laughs> you are eighteen, correct? I uh, yes, just eighteen. Eighteen. Yes. How does a young lady, eighteen years old, get to be such a fan of this kind of traditional country music and Tommy Jackson fiddles and George Jones singing and and that kind of stuff? Well, man, I'm telling you, I think it just has to do with the fact I was just exposed to it from mm-hmm. such an early age. You know, my entire family is just full of musicians and singers and 
I mean, I can just remember being a kid, and my grandpa, Fred Jack, used to run around with Ralph Mooney right. in his glory days. Uh-huh. And uh, so that's kind of, I mean, they say that we were on the way on the way to a steel show one year, and I was probably one or so, uh-huh. and uh, Moon and all of them were sitting in a McDonald's somewhere in St. Louis, uh-huh. and uh, I got a spoon and a straw, and I was playing, acting like I was playing the fiddle with the music overhead. There you go. And they just kind of thought, oh, Lord. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but I was just always drawn to fiddle music, and, you know, growing up around all them musicians and the people in the music business, it's, it's kind of hard not to fall in love with it, you know? Right. So I just, it's my passion. Well, um, it, it shows, and, and it shows in your playing and your singing, and I'm so glad you're doing it. I really am. Yes. Well, it's, I'm telling you, I'll say it many times, but it's just the shame that, you know, the, the stuff we listen to today on the radio, it just can't touch the, the traditional, the original artists and the good country music from years ago, and I've said it, you know, I, I was always that kid in school, most of the girls have Taylor Swift playing, mm-hmm. and I was cranking up George Jones in the parking lot, you know, rolling with my windows down and have the races on playing. But Absolutely. Anyway, it's just what I love. That, well, that's great, and, and we're glad you do, and, uh, and that, you know, my, my family was not musical, but my dad was a record collector. And, and a big fan, and so he got me into it. As a matter of fact, he named me after Justin Tubb because Justin was his favorite songwriter. So, oh, nice. so he, even though he wasn't a picker, he was definitely into it. You know, a very, yeah. very devoted fan. And uh, so yeah. that's kind of how I got into it. But um, yeah. I tell you what, it's uh, it's so good, to, so good to see young people like yourself wanting to carry this stuff on. I mean, I'm hope I hope I've got many years left to do it myself. But it's nice to know there's somebody coming up behind me that's that's also doing it. You know, yes. And, yes. Uh, and and I should mention too that you're you're also working on some other things. You you are definitely an artist in your own right, and I look forward to. Uh, I know you you do have one CD already recorded, correct? I do. Yeah, I put it out. I think I was fourteen or fifteen when I put that one out. Right. So now I'm kind of getting in the stages where I'm kind of thinking about some new material and what I might like to put on my next one. Definitely. So just kind of getting my thoughts together on that. Absolutely. You're you're singing so good, and and I mean it's it's been one of those things. I've been lucky enough. If you don't mind me asking, how old were you the first time? The first time we worked together was Dottie's uh, first CD release at Pearls. Yes. How old were you at that time? Gosh, maybe fourteen or fifteen. Maybe so. Like that. Yeah. So I guess yeah. it, it's been about four years ago, I think. So, so I've been very fortunate to be, to be able to watch you and, and watch the progression, and I swear you get better every time I hear you. Oh, well, thank you. That really means a lot. Well, it's, it's, from you. it's the truth, and, and, you know, I'm, I tell you what, it's, um, I, I don't, I, I don't waste compliments. I can tell you that, so. Yes. <laughs> well, I do appreciate it. I don't yes, take them lightly either. I, I understand. <laughs> well, I tell you what, another guy that we worked with this past weekend was Curtis Potter. And uh, really enjoyed picking with him, and and uh, I forget uh, there was something, there was one thing. Oh, he he did something I've never heard him do that night. He did sing a sad song, and yeah. and, and really sang the heck out of it. And it was that was a, a neat moment because I'd never heard him sing that. I yeah. think I think I want to play a Curtis Potter record right now, and uh, and I don't know this is uh, this was a rare recording that he made for the Dot label. And uh, listen to the listen to the vocal on this. It's some some amazing singing by Curtis Potter. Curtis Potter and one called Handful. <laughs> I love that. I do uh, too. A I do too. You know, I was thinking as I was I was hearing the classical guitar work on that record. Do you play guitar? Do you play anything other than fiddle? Uh, you know, I kind of dabbled in it for a while. I can I can fake my way through a song pretty good. I, fi- I, I figured I figured you probably <laughs> did. Yeah. I figured you did. Yeah, it's just- and and your grandpa plays guitar, right? He does. He plays guitar and a uh, a little bit of steel S- guitar steel. as well. Mm-hmm. And he sings. He sings too. So a little you bit know, of everything. The first the first time I met him was uh, when he brought Ralph Mooney. At that time, my studio was at my house in uh, Martindale, mm-hmm. Texas, and and he brought Moon to play on mine and Johnny Bush's duet album. Moon played on two mm-hmm. cuts. He played on uh, "Under the Influence of Love" and he played on uh, "Threw Away the Rose," and oh, uh, and and that was the first time that I met Fred. But mm-hmm. uh, absolutely, and and at that time, Dottie was was over at Bobby's working on on her first album. 
Right. Matter of fact, I think Ralph went to Bobby's one day and then came to my place the following day or something, something like that. Yeah, yeah, and Johnny had sang on her first album as right, well. Right, that's right, he did. It all kind of happened right there together. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Yeah. yeah, well, it's, uh, I tell you what, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I, I know you've got a, you've got a whole career ahead of you, and, and I'm just excited to see what you're going to do next. I know, I know when you make another record, it's going to be a great one, and, and uh, I'm just, just looking forward to looking forward to see what comes you know and, and i know you're you're talking about booking some dates as well and and kind of doing your own thing so yeah yeah just kind of getting out there and i've been real blessed i've gotten to play with some of the you know the great thing hunter music and mm-hmm. uh you know when i started out leona williams i met her when i was about 12 right and she just took me out on the road with her and we just traveled and and anyway, she was great for me, and just I still work with her from time to time. But right. Just her and Tony, and gosh, you and Curtis, and just all these guys that are so great and let me come out and work. And so anyway, so aside from doing all that, I'm kind of going to start branching out and doing some stuff on my own, but keeping it all, and making it work together. Absolutely. So. I, well, like I told you the other yes. day, I've I've made a whole career out of that. You know, one night I'm out there being. Johnny Bush's bass player and, you know, Daryl McCall's bass player and then and then, you know, I'll be out the next weekend doing my own thing and and I firmly believe that a person can do both and and, yeah. be, and be successful. And I I enjoy being a sideman. You know, that's the thing yeah. is I don't want to give that up. I love playing bass and singing harmony and, and doing that stuff as well. Right. And you know, a lot of these people, a lot of us in Texas, everybody kinda of collaborates. You yeah, know, we do. Flores, it's for other people, Jay Cooker. I mean it's just like everybody kinda of comes together and works together and I really love that it, about, it, about everybody. Yeah, it really is it really is a big family and I know that sounds cliche to people that don't realize it, but the, it is the truth. Right. It, it, yeah. You know, and even that that benefit last Sunday is is proof positive of, of that kind of thing. Or I, I keep saying last Sunday. Actually it was two weeks ago Sunday. But um, Right. It seems like last Sunday. It does. Doesn't it? <laughs> yeah it does. It does. I'm still trying to catch up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we've had uh, we've we've had a fun fun couple of weekends the last couple of weekends. Speaking of, uh, we we're talking about singing singing harmony with folks. You and I got to do something for the first time that I just had a ball this past weekend singing three part harmony with Tony Booth. Yes, isn't that great? I couldn't, you know, I had a grin on my face the whole time. I just <laughs> singing with Justin and Tony at the same time. I mean, that was just. Amazing. Well, it was, it I was, was really so, glad with how well it went over. <laughs> you and me both, and and it was so cool because because you work with him a lot, and and I have worked with him a lot at different times, and so even though we had never all done it, the the three of us singing together, we just fell right in, you know. Right. And and yeah. uh, it it was a lot of fun. I hope we can do some more of that. I definitely look forward to that. Um, one of the one of the songs that he did that that uh, that night. And and found out I found out that that this has always been one of my favorite Tony Boo songs, and I found out that it was one of yours as well. Is an old song called "The Devil Made Me Do That." Yes. Oh my gosh, that's such a great song. And you know, I'm kind of one of those people. When I start working for somebody, I kind of really just try to submerse myself in their material. Mm-hmm. You know, because I don't want to be that person who you know the the star will call a song, a song and you're like, oh, I don't know that. Exactly. So I went back just way back in his catalog and just absolutely listened to everything Tony Booth I could find. Uh-huh. And so I was prepared. I think it kind of surprised him, but mm-hmm. yeah, that's one of my favorite songs. I was so glad we were able to do that. Absolutely. Well, that's one of mine as well. Let's give, let's give it a listen right now. This is the old Capitol record. I don't remember the year on this. I think it was probably around 73. That's an educated guess. But here's, mm-hmm. Tony, here's Tony Booth and the devil made me do that. All right. Oh, uh, there's Tony Booth, and the devil made me do that. J.D. Manis on the pedal steel guitar on that particular record. Have you met, did, have you gotten to meet J.D.? I have not, no. You know, I finally did. He, he lives in California still, but a few, mm-hmm. a few years ago, uh, well, I can't remember exactly when, not too many years ago, he came down to Fort Worth. Actually, he had come down for the Texas Steel Convention, and mm-hmm. at that time, uh, a guy named Dave Frainer, who has now passed away. Dave Frainer had a record label called Hillside Records, and mm-hmm. and he had a, a session book to record Curtis Potter, and he had me and Jake to play bass and rhythm guitar. Well, Lossberg played drums. Come to think of it, 
Uh, he had Lossberg on drums, me on acoustic rhythm guitar, and Jake on bass. And uh, he hired JD to come in and play steel on that since he was already in Texas. And, oh, wow. Yeah, so we cut four songs with JD. I'll never forget it. And a real nice guy and and yeah. great player too. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, I tell you yeah. what. I tell you what. I'd like to do sometime. I, I I really appreciate you taking the time to be with us on the telephone. One of these weeks, if you have the time, I'd like to get you to come up here and kind of be my my guest disc jockey and pick out a bunch of music and and we'll sit here and do this together in person. Can you do that? Absolutely. Yes, that would be great. Let Let's make a plan to do that for for sure and. Before I let you go, is there uh, is there anything you want us any any song request anything you want us to play? Uh, you know what? Uh, you've been doing a great job. I don't know if you got any Leona Williams I, material. I do have I do have <laughs> Leona Williams. I've I've got Yes Ma'am right here in front of me. Is that going to work, or you want something else? You know what? That's perfect. I've played that one many a time. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Well, Jay, thank you for taking the time to visit with us. Yes, well, thank you for having me, Justin. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. Absolutely. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. You too. All right. Here's Leona Williams, and yes, ma'am, he found me in a honky-tonk. <laughs> 